Hello there, thanks so much for tuning in. So I'm Tim and this is my Carbon Coach, channel all about allotment life, eco living, generally being good to the world. So I haven't been up to the allotment in over a week. Um, you might have noticed I put on a little bit of lockdown weight, so I started running and that then caused one of my knees to uh, swell up and become ridiculously painful because I haven't really been able to walk up here much, unfortunately. But I'm back today and I've got something well, which I think is exciting. A little bit of a plot tour update because there's a couple of things going on that are super exciting. And also we've just passed 500 subscribers to the channel, which I'm eternally grateful for. I wouldn't have thought that I would have ever hit that within a year of starting the channel. Literally started it towards the end of January. So 500 subscribers in a year is just like mind blowing but thank you very much for that and to say thank you I'm going to be holding a bit of a giveaway a two week competition uh, where you can win a prize and more of that towards the end of the video it is a little bit noisy up here on the plot today uh, someone's mowing some grass even though it's probably quite late for mowing grass uh, we've got a communal bonfire going on as well so it smells absolutely delicious I love the smell of bonfires um, however that might mean some sort of smoke and stuff uh, in the picture but I'll try my best to work around that so we're going to kick it off like I say with a plot tour update for November always happens a train goes past every single time I go to start making a video it's unbelievable <laughs> Cool, I think that's passed. So yeah, what we'll do is have a look around the plot. Uh, things are doing really, really well. I'm super happy with how things are going at this time of year, <laughs> probably more so now than I was in the summer, um, but that's the way things go, I guess. And yeah, there's gonna be, gonna be a fun time showing you around what's happened. So starting off over here in the wildflower bed, there's still color. We've got these beautiful yellow flowers. No idea what on earth they are and yeah, just lots and lots of yellow yellow still in here, which is lovely to see. The cornflower all died down, so this is the remains of the cornflower. Uh, so yeah, give that a bit of a shake, hopefully get the seeds out. And there's lots of sort of weeds and things that I need to take out, some quite invasive weeds. But other than that, I'm just gonna let it do its thing and see what happens next year in the spring. Coming around here, uh, lavender's doing okay at the minute, both of those, that one's still super tiny. In the herb bed, uh, the barbecue rosemary is seriously flourishing. It's doing amazingly well. And the lemon curd thyme is doing all right. It's turning slightly red. That might be normal for this time of year. Who knows? And then down here, we've got the hot and spicy oregano, which is, yeah, really bounced back since I gave it a huge trim. Speaking of giving trims to things, over here, if I can move slowly enough, are our mints. Monty, the OG chocolate mint, is doing really well. Just giving him a bit of a haircut, taking off some of the longer, deader heads. Over here, Sunny strawberry mint, not doing so well. We do have some new growth poking through, which is absolutely fab. We've also got some mushrooms growing on in there. I don't know whether that's good or bad, but for now, I'm happy to leave that. Continuing up here on her beds. Bertie, the basil mint, continues going from strength to strength. He is absolutely crazy. He's loving life there at the minute. Regular time is doing absolutely fantastic. The old ordinary rosemary is doing really well. And the sage is doing well. And those of you that saw my garlic video will know that in this bed I also put in some elephant garlic. And you can just about see the tips of the elephant garlic. There's one there and there's one just there starting to poke through. I'm loving that they are doing so well. Over here, this was where the radishes and rockets were, just leaving this bed empty for uh, winter season, ready for something to go in it. And then over here, this is the fennel and the uh, lemon balm that my friend gave me. Lemon balm might have to do the same as the herbs, cut off all of these dead twigs, but it's really, really growing back. That is absolutely amazing at the bottom. I'm loving that. Um, the Fennel is just sort of going wild. Not exactly sure what I need to do with it. I think the seeds have already dispersed. I was going to collect the fennel seeds, but they might have gone everywhere. So I might have a bit of a problem on my hands come spring. Then spinning around, we've got the alliums bed, is what I'm going to call it. So up here, we've still got spring onions, and some of those are looking like they're doing really well. There's a couple at the back there that have got quite a girth on them, for want of a better word. I probably should have thinned these out a lot better. 
but oh well, you live and you learn. Got even more growth here. I think that this was an extra row, row of garlics that went in here. So the garlic is doing stunningly. With the onions, there's not an awful lot going on in here. You can see over there, there's a couple that are poking through and the same just there, there's one poking through. But yeah, I presume that they'll just take their time. But have a look at that, that's my other garlic. So that is like the early purple whites and the Carcassonne whites. Absolutely incredible, loving that. And there was a little bit of, as you might remember, fox damage or possibly badger damage, but they seem to have left all of this alone now, which is fab. So this is what my uh, white onions, Japanese tough balls uh, for overwintering are looking like. They went in from seed rather than from set. So that's doing absolutely brilliantly. Loving that. Down here, <laughs> you can see there is something. So there was nothing in there. Um, there's a dugout hole there, just in case the depth isn't showing. But yeah, dugout hole there with it scattered all over my, my pathway. Not too sure what they were going for. That is a nasturtium, it's just completely withered off and died. No idea what's gone on there, but that's not normal, I don't think. <laughs> anyway, looking up at the bench, so I have started to paint the timbers for the next two raised beds, finally. However, I have left them like that, and in the rain they've gone a bit of a funny colour, so I will need to uh, repaint those in future so hopefully there'll be some more dry spells like today in the coming weeks and i'll be able to crack on with that sadly can't do too much today in terms of work up here because i've got an essay due for uni on thursday which i need to put a lot of effort into 2000 word essay about why uh, the world's governments can't agree on how to tackle things like climate change etc so fun times at the back we can see pretty much all the leaves have come off of my currant bushes so my red currants and white currants so that is ready to be sort of pruned back and trimmed into shape a bit of a winter prune to make sure that they're doing okay from what i understand you cut most of the new growth off because the berries grow on the old growth so you're going to be tackling that soon around there so that is still my sort of to clear area and that's something that i really really want to be getting on with because grand reveal time I have a polytunnel. Some of you might have already seen this on my Instagram stories, but yeah, I'm now the proud owner of a second-hand polytunnel. So one of the chaps that's here on the site was, basically, he's basically got rid of his plot. He doesn't have the time, unfortunately. New job parameters have meant that he can't spend as much time up here. So yeah, I've got his polytunnel and it's a fantastic one. It's really, really nice. Uh, apparently it's only sort of a, a year or two old. It's a full sort of metal frame. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, fully sort of metal bars across. It's got side flaps. At the moment, it's in its temporary position, uh, being where my final two raised beds are gonna be. You can see the edges there. And that is gonna go into where all of this mess is just here. So yeah, that is the big news. So at the moment, it's just got bricks all the way around it. I am going to dig it into the ground properly when it's in its uh, final forever home. And then I need to start figuring out what I'm actually going to grow in it. And that's going to be really exciting. And that leads us on nicely to the competition and where you guys come in. So I hope you enjoyed that quick look around the plot. Uh, it's not a lot going on other than the garlic and onions really up here in November. However, next time around I've ordered some seeds from a really lovely company that I've just discovered so I'll be sharing that with you in a fortnight. And now what I'm going to share with you, <laughs> lovely link there, is the uh, competition slash giveaway. So uh, 500 subscribers, like I said at the top of the video, huge achievement so thank you very much. So this is just my way of giving something back to you guys and yeah it's going to be sort of open to everyone. Ideally I'd love for you to be a subscriber. Uh, whilst entering. However, all that you need to do is literally write a comment in this video letting me know something that you're really excited to grow next year. It could be a flower, it could be a vegetable, it could be a herb, it could be a fruit. It needs to be something that I myself haven't grown this year, so feel free to have a look through. To be honest, there's not a lot because it was my first year. But yeah, something new and exciting that you are excited to grow, that you'd love to share with everyone else that maybe I might like to grow next year, especially now I've got a polytunnel, so that opens up a lot more options. So that's it. And then in two weeks time on the next video, I will uh, randomly select one of the comments and they will win a 20 pound 
Urban Herbs gift voucher. So that does limit this, unfortunately, to a UK entrants. I don't believe that Urban Herbs ship internationally, but by all means, join in. Uh, any international viewers of, of mine have helped to achieve this milestone as well, so thank you very much. Urban Herbs, if you're not familiar with them, local-ish, Term, in terms of being in the UK, uh, herb shop, and that's where I've got the majority of all of my herbs from throughout this year. Absolutely fantastic. They run out of Birmingham and they have some absolutely incredible varieties like the hot and spicy oregano, the lemon curd thyme. They've just been absolutely wonderful. So I'm supporting them by buying a gift card and I'm gonna give it to whoever wins this competition. So like I said, two Mondays time, can't remember the date. I'll probably flash it up screen somewhere. And if you just get your entries in sort of by 9am on the Monday and then when I come up here to film the video on Monday then I will be able to do a random number generator drawing of whoever wins that and be able to get your prize to you. And that will set you up nicely for the new year. I don't believe that Urban Herbs have got any herbs in stock at the moment as you'd expect with it being winter but it sets you up nicely, a little treat to get your sort of allotment or garden kick started in the new year with something a little bit special and a little bit different so i'm really really excited to be offering this prize uh, they're like i say a company that i've used quite a few times this year and have had people that i've recommended it to uh, buy from them and absolutely love what they've received as well so that's it for this week i'm gonna leave it there i'm now going to do a quick bit of weeding as is the way of things and i'm gonna head back home and hopefully finish my essay fingers crossed <laughs> although knowing me i'll procrastinate and end up doing something else so thank you very much for watching thank you very much for subscribing if you have if you haven't then tap the little button down below uh, you can press the thumbs up button if you like or smash it if that is indeed your thing and uh, drop a comment down below letting me know what you're excited to grow or what you think i should try next year really really appreciate that and until then take care of yourselves take care of each other take care of your allotments and have a fantastic week Cheers, everyone. Bye.